Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, for this time, we will discuss about a hadith uh, from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, narrated by Al Imam Al Bukhari in Al Adab Al Mufrad. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, all the, the the story about it, uh, the narrator or the companion mentioned about Sa'ad al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala al mimbar, faqala amin 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 thalatha marat. فلما نزل سئل عن ذلك فقال أتاني جبريل فقال رغم أنف امرئ أدك رمضان ثم انسلخ فلم يغفر له فقل آمين فقلت آمين ورغم أنف رجل أدرك والديه أو أحدهما فلم يدخله الجنة قل آمين فقلت آمين ورغم أنف رجل ذكرت عنده فلم يصلي عليك قل آمين فقلت آمين Jabir bin Abdullah reported that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam went up the mimbar. When he reached the first step, he said Amin. When he ascended the second step, he said Amin. And when he stepped onto the third step, he said Amin. They said, Messenger of Allah, we heard you say Amin three times. He said, Why I went up the first step, Jibril, may Allah bless him and grant grant him peace, came to me and said. Rich is the slave to whom Ramadan comes, and when it passes for him from him, is not forgiven. I said, Amin. Then he said, Rich is the slave who has one of or both of his parents alive, and they do not let him enter the the garden, the paradise. I said, Amin. Then he said, Rich is a slave who does not bless you when you are mentioned in his presence, and I said, Amin. In this hadith, there are three conditions, three situations that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was instructed by Jibril to say Amin. May Allah subhanahu wa taala accept this dua. And what was that? The first one is when someone entered the holy month of Ramadan, and the month passes him, passes from him, and uh, emerge or, or the the, the shawal came. And he finished his duty. He finished his time in the in the month of Ramadan, and he did not receive any uh, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He he did not uh, he he was not forgiven from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Although the whole month of Ramadan filled with forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, our supplication, our du'a. Is easily will be easily, insha Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, accepted by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Surely, one of the supplication, one of the du'a that we must ask from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to forgive all our sins. So, how come someone entered the holy month of Ramadan and finished the month without receiving any kind of forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Then this is what has been mentioned. Raghima anfu mriin or raghima anfu rajul. This is clearly something that cannot be acceptable for someone who was in the month of Ramadan and he was not forgiven from Allah any forgiveness. He wasn't received any forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And other than that, for children who still have their own parents or one of them. And with, and he cannot do the kind things upon them, and that will not give them the opportunity to enter the paradise and and heaven of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was saying Amin for the du'a of the Jibril. And please know that this supplication and this du'a made by the best creature of of the heaven. Which is Jibril, and was Amin by the best creature on the earth, which is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Therefore, this dua or this hadith is very important for all of us to be to be very careful when we are entered the month of Ramadan and when we are dealing with our parents and when we are we were listening when people mentioning about the name of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We need. To answer back by saying "Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam," may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala forgive all of us when we reach the month of Ramadan, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala make us, make all of us, a good children and kids towards our parents, then can lead us 
to enter the the heaven and paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may us every time when people mention the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we will be very careful and we will answer it back by saying the salawat sallallahu alaihi wasallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us with the shafa'at of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the forgiveness upon us in the holy month of Ramadan and see you inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala see you in the next time inshallah and thank you very much